I grew up in a village in rural Nigeria. You know, most of our villages here are locked in the hinterlands. There is problem of transportation, lack of water, and don't forget we are a developing nation. Therefore, these people will have no electricity supply. The biggest single problem for the farmers is the lack of preservation for their crops. The climate here is too harsh. This is a very dry region. This is an example of one farmer who picked this spinach this morning. As you can already see, it is wilting away and falling apart. The earthen pot is an indigenous traditional technology. I know it cools. People use it just to store drinking water. But how can it be used for other things as well? If it can cool, then I started making experiments with the pot. The pot import system consists of two pots, a bigger outer pot and a smaller inner one. Now, the farmer is required to put fine river sand in between the smaller inner pot and the bigger outer pot and to pot it so as to keep it moist. This reduces the temperature to the minimum. Something like the spinach can last for days as against the only one or two days it will last under normal circumstances. Something like tomatoes last for 21 days as against the two or three days that it normally lasts. When I discovered that it is terrific and it is working excellently, I single-handedly financed the first 5,000 pot, pot import system from my meager salary and I distributed them at first in five villages. I felt highly excited. This is one thing that will revolutionize life in the rural areas. These girls are from Dorama village. They are now on their way to the market Checking to sell out. mangoes and all the other perishable items. Now, these are the kind of girls I'm trying to liberate. For these girls, going to school is out of the question. All of these items can now be preserved at home in the pots, sold only on demand, and they will be free to go back to school. It doesn't require electricity. The raw materials for the manufacture of the pots are not only occurring naturally, but they are of course free. For a country like Nigeria, which has over 140 million people, government cannot be the sole provider of everything. People will have to be self-reliant. Traditional initiatives will help as well. The port is one and is helping. It is revolutionizing the lives of these people.